I'm Pete from SKF. Today I'm going to show you how to properly remove and replace an adapter bearing in a two-bolt flange. Now this adapter bearing is also used on pillow blocks and four-bolt flanges. The procedure is the same. Now some of the tools and equipment you'll need today to do this job properly is a grease gun, some premium SKF high temp grease, an Allen wrench, a spanner wrench, and a pry bar. First thing we're going to want to do is actually clean out this area around the housing and the bearing. So take a rag and clean out that area on both sides. Next we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, Allen screw here. Take an Allen wrench, loosen it, and then remove the lock collar and then slide out the shaft. Now that we have the shaft removed, we're going to go ahead and take out the bearing. What we're going to use is this pry bar. Take the pry bar, and what you'll do is you'll push the pry bar against the bearing, and actually take the bearing and spin it. Now you'll notice on the housing there's a notch up here, and there'll be a notch down here. What you want to do is line up the bearing with the notches, and that's how the bearing will actually come out. If you have the bearing not lined up with the notches, the bearing will not come out. So what you want to do is line the bearing up with the notches, the bearing will come out. And the same, same way with insulation, you must line up the bearing with the notches. So this notch and this notch right here on the housing. Now you'll notice on our SKF housing, there is a grease groove right in the housing. Now on some competitors, they do not use this groove. If they do not have that groove, we do not recommend using our bearing in that housing. We recommend an SKF housing and bearing. Now we're going to go ahead and inspect our grease fitting. First thing I like to do is take our Lincoln 18 volt power luber here and put it on the grease fitting and give it two pumps of grease. And you'll notice that the grease has come through, so we know that our grease fitting is good. And also check for play on the fitting itself. If the fitting has any play in it, you need to replace the housing or the fitting. Now, because this bearing can be installed this way or that way, what SKF has done is installed grease holes on both sides of the outer raceways. Now, you'll notice they're on opposite sides of the raceway. So it doesn't matter which way this bearing goes in, you will always be able to grease this bearing. Now I'm going to install the bearing. Remembering the notches that we had here, take that bearing, put it right in the notches, and then what you want to do is spin the bearing 90 degrees. Using our pry bar, prying it in, and now we're all set. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the shaft through the bearing with the lock collar. After we got everything lined up, I'm going to put our lock collar on there. And using our spanner wrench, I'm going to go ahead, snug up the lock collar, and then tighten up the Allen screw. Till it's snug. Now I like to tighten it up once I start seeing the Allen wrench flex a little bit, that's where I stop. And now we've properly installed an adapter bearing. Using our Lincoln 18 volt power luber, I'm going to go ahead and grease our bearing. What I like to do is give it one, two shots of grease, and then install the protective cap over the grease fitting so nothing, no contaminants get inside the grease fitting. Now you're ready to go. For complete product information, visit us at skfpartsinfo.com and follow us on Twitter at skfpartsinfo.